Can I just have him back at one? Please? What's going on you guys? Slim back here with a new video today and unfortunately you guys, this ban list season, which means pre prepare for a bunch of ban list predictions. And your boy, well, I want to get it out of the way because I honestly don't want to get to it last minute than the ban list drop and be like, well, that prediction was pointless. But anyways, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, you guys will be notified whenever I upload. You'll also be notified when I stream over here on YouTube as well as Twitch. The links are in the description. While you're down in the description, consider joining my uh, Discord server. We have a really wholesome community over there. Uh, if you're going to purchase any of the cards that I've talked about in the past or you want to purchase stuff to prepare for the possible ban list, uh, please Please use my TCG player link also in the description below. A portion of what you spend goes back to the channel. It helps me out and I really do appreciate it. And last but not least, if you want to further support me and the channel, consider becoming a channel member or joining my Patreon. With all that out of the way, you guys, before I get into this, I want to give one uh, final shout out that I want you guys to check out. On February 20th and 21st, my boy ATG Smitty Plays is going to be having a tournament. I'm going to have a little flyer up here and also have the stuff down in the description. It's a really awesome tournament. You can get all the information by joining his Discord server. He's also one of my Discord mods. Uh, really just awesome guy really helped him out with a lot of stuff and I really want to see him have a lot of success in this tournament I will try to be there as well to commentate uh, some of the matches if I have the time but I'm just letting you guys know you guys should definitely check it out again all the information will be down in the description so be sure you check it out and definitely support my boy because I think it's awesome that he's putting together a tournament for you guys so with all of that out of the way you guys I am going to try keyword try to keep this as fast as possible because I know you guys don't have time to be here for like 30 plus minutes talking about a ban list prediction. This is the ban list prediction that we put together uh, on stream if you guys were part of that via YouTube and Twitch um, and it's pretty crazy but I'm gonna get into it. I don't waste any more time. I'm gonna make it as fast as possible. So this, this is Streamline. The cards that I want to be banned, there are three of them. Calamities, Zexel, and LP. Now, Calamities needs no introduction. Card says you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! People forgot about Zexel because Numeron kind of kind of rears its ugly head every once in a while. But people forgot about Zexel until the extravaganza happened. Guess what? Says you also can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. And then there's LP. So LP is the most iffy. I know Dragon Link have just come back. However. That card has been dodging the ban list for a long time now, and I think a lot of players are tired of it. I've already heard from the Mouse of Dragon Link players. Now, this baffles my mind, but I shouldn't be surprised. That Dragon Link can still play even if LP is gone. Uh, if they can, that's actually crazy. Like, that that's insane. LP, I think, has just been on the chopping block for so long. I think it has to be addressed. Will it be addressed? I personally don't think so, but I'm going to predict that maybe now is the time they will hit it. pain has been gone a while. There's no reason to hit Pisty. The only one that's possibly left is LP. So that's the only card I could possibly think of for Dragon Link to put it in check. However, if the deck can still play even after that, the deck is phenomenal. So that's it for the bans. I have nothing else I can think of getting banned, you guys. I'm not banning Ben 10, so I can't really say anything on that. If you look at the top five decks, which was the previous video, there's nothing else that really needs to be banned. I think the cards that need to be banned are the ones that say you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! Moving on to the limited. I got a lot of cards. I got Ben 10. Of course I got Ben 10. I got Dragoon. I got Miscellaneous Sarasaurus or Fossil Dig. I've got Sanguine or Eldlin. I've got Mirage Stalio. Meltdown, which just melts my heart in a bad way. I got Electromite. Shout out to you, Triff. I, I got Skull Crobat Joker, the Firewall Errata, Denglong, and... Please? Okay, we're not going to put the king up there, but we'll talk about that after. Now, to save time, I just want to go in through, have all the cards up here so you guys can see, and then just go into it individually. Okay, Ben 10. I don't want to ban the card. I believe if you ban the card, it's really going to hurt the Dragtron strategy, and with one copy, they can't abuse multiple. They can't abuse Natasha. I think that will put the deck in check the best way possible. Vanity's Ruler is not the problem. Some decks have even chose to omit it from the deck. Ben 10 is the problem. It's the most recurrable uh, piece of the deck. It literally lets you search whatever you need. Put the card to one. Drytron will struggle, but they will find a way to continue playing. They're also getting more support. Dragoon, I know you guys want it banned. The reason why I have it limited, I'm going by what OCG did. They put it to one and then they banned it. The reason why this card I think is finally up on the chopping block is because Dragoon has been everywhere. Every deck that can play Dragoon is taking advantage of it, and you guys have seen just how powerful that is. The card is an insane card. I don't think it should have ever been printed, and I think now is the time to actually hit it. So for once, I have Dragoon on here, but not banning it because I believe they're going to limit it first and then ban it. And and that is just the way things happen when you're Konami. That's how this company works with things. You need to accept that. This isn't what I want. This is just what has proven to happen in the past. So that's why I have Dragoon on there going to one. As far as Miscellaneous Sarasaurus and Fossil Dig go, we talked about this on stream. Dinosaurs need a check. M Misk is the reason why the deck is so powerful. However, it was brought up to me. 
You know Fossil Dig isn't once per turn, right? You know that if you open two of them, you basically have like full combo and then more. Uh, it's not once per turn. It's not once per turn. Like, that alone is just crazy to me. I don't know which route they're going to go. I think most players would say they'll put Mist back to one and that'll keep it in check. I don't think both of these hits are necessary. I'm going to say one or the other. I couldn't decide. They put Dig to one, it lowers the consistency. If they put Mist to one, it lowers the power of that card overall. And that card is insane. I mean, have you read Mist? Like, we all get the joke. But literally, have you read that card? The card is crazy. So I think to check dinosaurs, even though they're not performing that well, the deck is dependent on, is dependent on the format. And when the format changes, dinosaurs pop back up and they take the format by surprise. Keep them in check and we won't have that problem so that's what i have for dinosaurs as far as eldritch go now i'm very new to the eldritch engine and I, I feel the deck has to be addressed just for the fact that it's become one of the most splashable engines in the entire game again since i'm so new to it i didn't want to be biased and say what i think should happen i tried to piece together okay what are the two most like the, the best cards in the deck most people would think golden boy it's not golden boy it's actually scarlet sanguine or cursed eldland they both get you advantage eldland eldland, eldland literally floats and sanguine is just amazing just being able to shoot the lord out of the graveyard of the deck i don't know which one they're going to hit i decided to put both on here similar to dig and miscellaneous sarasaurus because i feel it could be one or the other i can't say which concrete one they would do and while i wanted them to go to two i think if they actually want to check the engine and not fully destroy the engine but check the engine they would have to put either one of these at one i don't know which one i think i'm i'm personally leaning more towards scarlet sanguine but i could be wrong what do you guys think let me know in the comments below but i think by having sanguine or eldlin it will cover a lot of uh, a lot of ground uh, next i got mirage stalio coming to one just because i want solomon great to try to breathe again shout out to my boy brandon this was something he talked about uh while people think that would be crazy i believe mirage stalio limits you on your summons and what you can go into so you can't actually go into access code talker i could be wrong again not a solomon great player but i think if they even got one copy back like let's see the deck try to do something like i think it sucks that the deck has fallen so far by the wayside it used to be the best deck in the game it won worlds it did everything and now it's like a skeleton of its old self so i think that's crazy i thought you know there's a lot of solid players that like the deck let's put it to one and see what happens so that's my honest thing and then meltdown just breaks my heart but and there's a but it is the most powerful card of the invoked engine and you cannot argue it invocation nah alistair that's me not even Alistair. The reason why this deck is so good is because of Meltdown. It's a consistency card that literally lets you search out your Alistair. And then when you go Fusion Summon and you use Fusion Effect, they cannot respond. How many times have you summoned an Agodes and literally popped a card and they can't respond to that and then you banish and made it bigger and run over the Dragoon? They can't respond. That's crazy. I don't want to see Alistair and friends get hit, but I am not going to sit here and be a biased content creator just because I love that deck to death. No. I'm going to say, if you want to check that deck, go after Meltdown. Don't put it to two. You have to put it to one. By putting it to one, we have one Meltdown, one Terraforming, and then we have to play other forms of Field Spell Presence. And those cards can literally be like Metaverse, which is awful, set rotation, stuff like that. It requires us to change our whole strategy. But I'm not going to sit here and act like Meltdown isn't the problem when it comes to this engine. So yes, I love the deck to death, but I am being very honest with you guys. You want to check Invoke since it's a very splashable engine, put Meltdown to one. Next, I've got Electromite, shout out to Triff, shout out to Jeremy, shout out to all the Pendulum players. Y'all just got support of Blazing Vortex, whether it's good or not. I just want to see what the deck can do. That's honestly the only reason. Like, I don't think that card is super broken. I think it deserves to be at one, and let's see what these players can come up with. Same thing with Skull Crobat Joker. I looked at Plush Fire as well. However, I don't actually know if Plush Fire is something that should come back. Again, wasn't a Pendulum player, wasn't a Pepe player. Skull Crobat Joker to one, Electromite to one. Give them a little more support, and let's see what Pendulums can do. Let's see what the great Pendulum Minds can come up with. And again, I don't want to kill decks. I want decks to try and come back and actually do something so that's why i'm saying bring those back and let's see what happens next i got firewall because it's getting errata i only have it going to one because again it's getting errata it's cybers only salmon great can use it code talkers can use it japan has it at one let's see what happens the card is not busted it's once per turn plus it's limited to cybers i don't think the card is going to be ever as broken as it was the errata is fantastic for it and it does give cybers a little edge so let's see what happens i don't think it's going to break the format if it comes to one and then eventually it might even come to three but again most cards go to one then the two then the three so let's see what happens and then shout out to my boy tyler i got you on Danglong. you already know i don't know if that card's broken i don't think it is yang zing cards i haven't seen them really do anything in a long time so let's see what happens if they put it to one i wouldn't put it at more than one again let's test the waters and let's see what happens but Danglong to one i think it's fine and yeah hi king
I want him back to one. The Nemesis card sucks. I don't care what you say. The Nemesis card sucks. Will it come back to one? Probably not. I really want it to, but I'm not going to sit here and say that it's my number one wish list. It is. It is for sure. But, you know, yeah, uh, Colossus one, that, that, that would be very nice. And yeah, that Nemesis card sucks. So that's it for the limited stuff. On to the semi-limited, you guys. Uh, not only that, before I finish on this, tell me how easy it is to out this card, like, at one. This card is so easy to out, so there's too many excuses. The Nemesis card sucks. I can't stress that enough. If you're wasting spaces on it, it sucks. Just let Thunder play their game, even with one Colossus. It's not broken. I don't care what anyone says. This card literally can be outed so easily these days. I don't know. I think we didn't have as many outs before, so there's that. Now, on to the semi-limited. There's actually a decent amount of semi-limited cards this time because I'm just trying to think like I was an employee in Konami. Now this is hard to do because I don't like semi-limited. I think it's so stupid. Simo has said it before. I agree 100%. But hey, the way they work, things go to one, then the two, then the three. What I have for semi-limited is Nadir Servant, Hero Lives, Call by the Grave, uh, Dynamite, and Sekka's Light. So Nadir Servant is just to check Dogmatica. It's the best card in Dogmatica. The card is crazy. OCG put it to two. Let's see what happens. It'll slow down the consistency. That card is busted. That card is like an FTK that guarantees window. That card is insane. Hero lives for heroes because, I mean, come on. Like, they're not doing anything. They're not getting enough support. They need more acceleration cards. They're very consistent, but they just don't put up enough oomph like they used to. If Hero Live goes to two, I honestly don't even think it's going to make a big difference. Like, you got to open it and start with no monsters on the field. But I couldn't think of another card that could help them. So I thought, you know, if we put Heroes Lives to two before it goes to possibly three, again, remember, we go from one to two to three. Let's see what happens. Called by because where the hell is my crossout designator? Like, for real, where the hell is my crossout designator? designator i know they won't put call by back to three it would be amazing if they did i'd love to put this on the no longer limited but the way they operate i honestly think they're gonna go called by from one to two and let's see what happens but seriously where the hell is my cross out designator like when i get cross out designator i don't care what you do to call by the grave honestly that's what's keeping maxi off this list maxi's not on this list you know why because we only have one called by we have three ash and no cross out designator as soon as we get cross out designator called by and we have ash we have like nine possible ways to stop maxi then maybe that card can come back that's just the honest truth i'm gonna tell you what you need to hear not what you want to hear so just remember that uh yeah called by the two would be nice just saying and then dynamite just because true dracos i love you james sled you know you're the best person in the world but true dracos just started doing anything you need more oomph so i've got you with dynamite going to two just to see what it does and then i got seca's light i know this is a really weird one it was discussed on stream i think john was talking about it and Again, I think it's so stupid for a card that went, was at 3, it went to 1 to go to 2, but possibly I think that's just the pattern they're going. Like, don't bash this prediction because of the cards I have going to 2. I'm just trying to think of how I've seen the pattern work in the past of cards going from 1 to 2 to 3 over time. Sekka's Light, you have to build around it. You have to run a Monster Mash deck. You have to run a deck that doesn't rely on spells and traps and it has to be all Monster Mash. There's very few decks I can think of that will actually do that. So I think if you put Sekka's Light to two to start, I don't think it would even be that crazy. We might see an uproar of the BA deck again and I think that would be really cool. So those are all my semi-limiteds, more than I ever thought I'd have, but hey, I'm just, I'm just trying to be fair, as fair as possible, I know. And lastly, no longer limited, last part of the video, I got Red MD going to three because of the errata, DeLorean going to three because of the errata, and True King's return because that card is doing absolutely nothing at two and it shouldn't be at two. Mally, you have to stay at two, unfortunately. But those are the ones. Uh, Red MD is once per turn, DeLorean is once per turn with the errata, and True King's return again is doing nothing. But that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it hashtag thunder gang you already know that's it but that's my ban list prediction you guys i wanted to make it as fast as possible and just cut out all the bs like this is just an honest prediction that we all put together there was more than 50 of you that contributed to this so i really do appreciate each and every one of you this is the best prediction we could come up with together and please let me know in the comments below stuff i missed because you know your boy is not going to remember everything i'm an old man i'm 30 i don't remember everything but you know things are crazy and i just wanted to be as fair as possible as much as I want this back, it won't surprise me if it doesn't come back. And that is the honest truth. So just remember that. But those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. What what are your ban list predictions? What's your wish list? This is kind of a prediction slash wish list. And let me know what you guys think. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed. You guys have honestly been killing it. You guys are amazing. We're on our way to 24K. I really do appreciate all the love and support. And yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.